What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street, and welcome to another episode of the What I Wore This Week series. This week featuring a bunch of watches from Movement, who is the sponsor for today's video. Stoked to show you those pieces. But let's get started with outfit number one in a pair of navy descendants of thieves cargo short. Then up top we have uh, not the ATOS tank top for one, we have the Uniqlo tank top because this time the logo on the left chest would mess us up a little bit. Um, for on my feet we've got a pair of Air Force One Nikes in all white that have definitely seen better days and so have I, so a sip of coffee. And then we're adding a really nice piece that's going to elevate this fairly simple look and that's from Abercrombie, a lace shirt. This is a size large, so it is supposed to um, look this baggy on me. And then we have the first watch on my wrist from Movement in a nice two-tone silver and gold with a blue dial, off with the threads, on with the cap, and maybe even the shades. I think both of them are a little bit much, so uh, let me take the shades back off, but I think the Yankees cap is just perfectly picking up on that color scheme for outfit number one. So we have a really nice summery outfit. Um, it is light and breezy, we got shorts. The shorts themselves are interesting because of the pockets. The shirt obviously is a key piece here, but because it is already so out there, Having it in all white and keeping the color combination fairly simple is what makes this outfit work really, really well. We've got navy, we've got white, we've got a sporty hint with the sneakers in the cap, but a fairly classy look. For outfit number two, we're starting out in Zara Cargos, and you would have seen this outfit on my Instagram if you follow me on there. I'm pairing it with a pair of Jordans, the Hyper Royales in blue, white, and gray and then we're picking up on those colors. Um, first with the white, this time we have the ATOS tank top on. I just do prefer the weight of it. It is a bit more substantial. Then we have a really, really pretty watch from Movement uh, Silver with that light blue dial that perfectly pairs with the Jordans. And then we're really bringing it home with the blue notes with this denim shirt from Asket that uh, I've had in my closet for several years now. Really high quality. The price point is a bit higher, um, but it's absolutely worth it. And then we're finishing it off with blue lenses and light brown frames from Nautica. Overall, definitely a more layered look. So for your colder days in the summer, if cold is even the right word for it, um, we've got that shirt open, which is gonna allow for some breezy, air flowing through but we've got long pants and a long sleeve on so not for your coldest days but I really like this once again kind of like the combination of a bit more classy with um, a bit more of a street vibe in this case but that watch that absolutely makes this look stand out and pull together and movement you know the company it started out as a watch company I've talked about it a lot also in terms of sunglasses and accessories which they offer all of those at a really fair price point, high quality. I really, really love those two watches here in particular. We've got that quiet luxury vibe going on without the price tag. So this watch absolutely, aesthetically, can sit next to my luxury watches and compete easily, but the price tag is obviously a lot more accessible. So you get the luxury look without the showy labels, without these insane price tags. And it's just that sexy Swiss 70s watch shape that is always staying um, in style and was just ahead of its time and it's just looking so, so good, especially with an outfit like this. You'll notice that I'm featuring other watches from Movement as well that are going a bit more casual, but these two are absolutely incredibly versatile when it comes to wearing them with a suit or dressing them down like you've seen me do in the first couple of outfits. So definitely check out Movement's website, a link is down below, and have a look for yourself, but these two are definitely standout pieces. And with that, we move on to outfit number three, which we're starting out in Abercrombie Utility Cargos, pairing those with these chunky sole converse in black and cream and then we're picking up on the black in the upper half with the simple Uniqlo tank top. This is a size medium so you'll notice it's a bit uh, closer to my body really hugging my torso here. Uh, finishing that off with a black and white accent up top with a hat from Preston Conrad and then we're adding another movement watch which absolutely represents the vibe of this fit. A bit more rugged, also works well in terms of color. The metal is leaning a bit in that green direction and we have that black face. So this outfit definitely, a, maybe a little bit military inspired. It's also reminiscent of what's happening on the runways and like in, in high end fashion right now. But we have that tight cropped silhouette up top and then the more relaxed silhouette on the lower half. Um, not something I normally play around with, but I found myself in these pieces uh, throughout last week and I actually ended up really, really liking the look whenever I caught a glimpse of myself, Leo that I am, in any reflective surface, especially mirrors. Then we're on to look number four. 
Uh, starting out in Madewell jeans, size 31, 32. This incredible relaxed taper fit. I love these jeans. Beautiful medium wash. And we're contrasting that with this oversized Abercrombie polo that I'm tucking in in the front left and the back right. It's something I like to do, like a double half tuck to give a little bit of a wavy casual vibe to it and to just shorten the shirt overall because it's a bit long. Then we're pairing it with these clay sneakers in white and black vegan leather sneakers. Uh, recently received them from the brand. Absolutely love them. Wear them all the time. We've got from Ray-Ban, Statement Wayfarers, and then once more, the Movement Watch with the blue dial now picking up on the denim. So this is how you can see that that color way just blends in easily with any wardrobe because we all have a pair of blue jeans in there and it goes with that casual vibe as well. Um, obviously, I'm still wearing a polo, which is a bit more upscale, but the balance here is, I think, a really good one between the sneakers and the jeans and then the watch and the polo up top. Statement frames to finish that off and we have a nice white, black and blue look. For outfit number five, we're in brown Abercrombie jeans. I love these, they're a bit long. I think I'm gonna get them tailored just a tad, but I love the way they fit on my feet from Puma X Ami Paris, a pair of high top sneakers in white and cream. And we're picking up on those cream notes with this relaxed um, polo from Madewell as well. So a very classic combo. You got jeans and polo, but with the fit, we're exploring a bit. Two more pieces for movement a watch with a white face, light brown leather strap, and then a statement frames in a tortoise, brown tortoise frame uh, to really drive home the point of this earth colored fit. So we have that simple base of jeans and polo. Last couple accessories here are the tote bag from Abercrombie and a new era cap in brown, which is almost a perfect match in terms of color for the jeans. So once more, this is a fairly classic combination of polo and a pair of jeans, but we're playing a bit with two things. One, the color, um, not your most expected color for a polo, and definitely not your most expected color for a pair of denim, but we're also playing with the shape, a bit more relaxed, loose sleeves, a bit of a shoulder drop in the polo, and uh, obviously a bit more of a relaxed fit on the jeans as well. In terms of accessories, if the hat and the shades are too much for you, opt for either one. Um, I've been wearing a whole lot of hats recently just because I've been riding my best ball a lot and it helps me with my messy hair that you may have noticed already. Then we're on to outfit number six and here we have a combination from Bonobos. We've got a pair of chinos in a very light gray stone color and up top a really nice woven polo in a medium royal blue. Uh, then on my feet, we've got from Suit Supply, two-tone sneakers, a uh, very simple approach to this outfit, which is okay. Not every outfit has to be over the top. The polo here is the star, just that nice blue color. And obviously, once more, lends itself perfectly to the movement watch that just goes so well with this outfit. The lighter color is represented in the metal chain of the watch, and then that light blue picked up by the polo. And the lenses in the shades that I threw on from Warby Parker, so metal frames picking up on the watch, and then that dark blue to really just tie in the color story of lighter colors in gray with some blue in there. Last but not least, we're in a pair of Abercrombie shorts with my New Balance 9060s. Uh, absolutely love these, very comfortable and stylish as well. And the last little bit of coffee to get through this very end. Um, I love these shorts, they're uh, very relaxed and very boxy, um, which is a new thing for me, but because they're boxy, I'm embracing that with another piece from Abercrombie. This is a linen shirt, button-down linen shirt, in a size extra large, so it's supposed to be this baggy. Finishing the look off with another cap, this one's from 47 brand, and one more movement watch, the one that you saw before with the light brown leather strap, just because we have the green in there, and the white face is really nice in combination with the linen shirt. So very relaxed vibe. Um, I love playing with that balance of dressed up, making it a little bit more relaxed, and then adding some sporty athletic elements in it with the hat, with the sneakers. I think it's a really nice combination. It's absolutely summer appropriate, really light and breezy. And that is it for today. Make sure to leave your comments, thoughts, questions down below, sub and turn on those notifications, and check out Movement. I'll see you guys with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper.